Hi, Geminis. Let's see what the universe has for you all today. Spirit, what messages do you have for Geminis? Distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distanced. So, yes. Yeah, so, y'all may live at a distance from your person. Or, like it says, like, there's just the emotional disconnect between you two right now. Spirit, what messages do you have for Geminis? What do Geminis need to know? <clears throat> liar be careful of someone sneaky so someone may have lied to you about something where they're just being like really sneaky or deceptive that kind of reminds me of the seven of swords spirit what messages do you open up your heart it will help you attract more love so yeah if you've been hurt um or going through some sort of heartbreak god is trying to send you love to you but you're kind of have your heart closed off i'm hearing um the song by Marion, I got an icebox where my heart used to be. So yeah, your heart right now is like cold as ice. Spirit, give me more messages for Gemini's. Manifest. Tell the universe exactly what you want. So whatever you're trying to manifest is trying to come in. You just got to start manifesting. Like either start scripting or praying or whatever you choose to manifest. This says water signs. So some of y'all could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Then it says patience, just a few more months, good things comes to those who wait. So yeah, so it's like when y'all manifest, y'all be expecting immediate results and it does not always work like that. So then y'all start to lose hope, hope. So when you do that, you're telling the universe you no longer want it because you always got to believe in the universe or God or whoever you believe in. Just have patience because what's for you is going to be for you. Then it says, let go, make room for the new beginnings on its way to you now. Yeah, y'all have a lot of good stuff um, about to come to you. So give me two more messages for Gemini. <clears throat> Love spell, you've been bewitched. Somebody wants you or somebody could have did some type of spell work on you. Um, candle work or something. Give me one more card for Gemini. Divorce, experiencing a breakup. And I just said some of y'all may um, have went through a breakup and you need a heal from that. So let's get into the tarot and see what's going on. Spirit, what message? And I'm sorry for the noise. They're like cutting grass outside. So I hope y'all can hear me. Spirit, what messages do you have for Geminis? What do Geminis need to know? What messages do you have for Geminis? What do they need to know? Give me three more cards for Gemini. Two more cards for Gemini. Two more cards. <clears throat> One more card for Gemini. One more card. Hold on. That's too many cards. I'm not taking all of these. Give me one second. Give me one more. Sorry, give me one more card for Gemini. One more card for Gemini. Okay. So, first card here is the death card. So, something definitely ended. Because remember, you did get this card about experiencing breakups. So somebody ended something, whether you ended something with someone or they ended it with you. But a cycle is ending. Um, and then you got the Ten of Cups in reverse. So I feel like this really bro this broke breakup broke your heart because it's like you all envision like a happy ever after with this person. Like y'all living together, being married, becoming a blended family or creating your own family. Um, but now you feel like that is broken, like it's not going to happen. Um, and some of y'all have been struggling for a minute trying to keep this relationship together. Then you have the Knight of Cups here. So somebody really loves you. Somebody is coming in to give you some sort of love offer. I'm not sure if this is a new person or if this old person is trying to come back. Um, I will clarify. Then you have the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like right now is the best time for you to really be focusing on um, your career, like developing a new skill or... Um, like building something because y'all already be really busy when it comes to your career. <clears throat> now with the eight of pentacles, this could also be saying like um, somebody may try to come in and tell you that they want to put more effort into the relationship. But I'll clarify. So you're talking about the death card. Why is it? Death card is clarified by the five of cups. Yes, listen, somebody got a divorce or somebody is mourning the loss of a breakup. But somebody is really sad about this breakup. Somebody is also feeling regretful of how they treated you um, and they're disappointed in themselves. <coughs> now, somebody could have recently lost someone close to them. If so, my condolences. Tell me about the Ten of Cups in reverse. Why is the Ten of Cups in reverse here? Seven of Pentacles. It's, it's time for you to start really investing in yourself. It is. Um, 
and your hard work is going to start paying off. I'm telling you, um, it's time for you to really channel that heartbreak and put it into your career. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Knight of Cups is clarified by the King of Pentacles in reverse. So some of you, yeah, so whoever this Knight of Cups is, I don't really feel like they, they may not be worth your time because all they, although they love you, they're not as stable as they pretend to be. Um, they may overindulge in things. They may be experiencing some financial hardship. They may be somebody that is very materialistic or they can have a gambling problem. Um, for some of you, your person may be somebody in the streets. Um, they could be doing something illegal. Um, but it's like they care more about money than anything. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the Page of Pentacles. So your person wants your forgiveness. They, they're they aware that they broke your heart. Um, so you may receive a message from them apologizing about something. Hell, they may even buy you a gift. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? <clears throat> Five of Cups is clarified by the Three of Swords. Yes, heartbreak. <sighs> y'all are really going through it, and I feel so bad for y'all. Um... For some of you, your person may have had you in a third party situation. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is it? Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. Y'all have new opportunities coming in. And whatever you're manifesting with this Ace of Pentacles is coming in as well. Um, some of you are about to transition into a new way of making money. So that could be starting a business or applying for a new job or going up for a promotion. Whatever you're going to do is going to be successful. So I need you to know that. Um, now I do feel like this past person is going to try to come back and start over with you, but they're just going to be like, look, can we just leave the past in the past and just start brand new? Like it's almost to the sense like they don't even want to discuss what happened. They just kind of want you to forget about it. Tell me about the King of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the King of Pentacles in reverse here? <clears throat> I'm not taking all those cards. So tell me about the King of Pentacles in reverse. What? King of Pentacles in reverse is clarified by the Sun card and the Two of Swords. So, yeah, like I said, your person is going to want to reconcile with you because the Sun card is the most happiest and positive card in the deck. Um, the Sun card represents healing. It, mean, it represents reconciliation. So it means that somebody is working on themselves so they can come back in a more positive energy. It also represents abundance, prosperity, happiness, um, commitment, fertility. And then with the two of swords, I feel like if your person had you in a third party situation with this sun card here, I feel like they're going to make a decision between you and that person. Um, and no matter what the decision is, you're going to be just fine regardless. Tell me about the page of pentacles. Why is the page of pentacles here? <clears throat> page of pentacles is clarified by the leopard's card. Yeah. Somebody wants your forgiveness for having you in a third party situation or maybe they made a decision and now they're realizing that they made the wrong decision. So maybe they chose the other person because with this sun card is here, it's like that person does not add happiness to that to their life. It's like when they're around you, their days seem so much brighter and happier. Um, but when they're with that person, they don't get that. So I feel like. Yeah, I feel like they're mourning the loss of this connection as well. Um, and even if they didn't choose you, trust me, that is not a fucking loss for you. That is their fucking loss. Like, you're trying to, you're the fucking son, okay? People need son in their life, okay? So fuck them. Like, it is what it is. You have some amazing things coming your way at the end of the day. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Three of Swords is clarified by the Four of Pentacles. So right now, it's like they're holding back from you, but I feel like you're going to get to the point where you're going to try to start holding back from them, even though it's going to be hard, because I know that you genuinely love this person. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Emperor. Hmm. Some of Look, some of y'all may be ready to meet a new person. This could be somebody older than you. This can be somebody that's already well established. Um, they may have a good career, a good job, or whatever. They're very structured. They can bring stability to your life. Excuse me. Um, sorry, I keep burping. 
Tell me about the sun card and the two of swords. Why is the sun card and the two of swords here? Three of wands. Yeah, look, three of wands represents confirmation. It means that whatever you're manifesting is coming in. And remember, you did have the card that said manifestation. Tell the universe exactly what you want because it's coming in. Yeah, y'all have, y'all putting some plans in motion. You're like, y'all have so many opportunities coming to you. Now, for some of you, if you've been manifest, if you have been manifesting this person to return to you, they are definitely coming back. Um, some of you may be ready to travel. Some of you may get some type of career opportunity that has to do with overseas travel. Tell me about the lover's card. Why is the lover's card here? Lover's card is clarified by the hangman. Hmm. Tell me about this hangman spirit. Why is the hangman here? Four wands. Somebody know that there's something that they need to sacrifice in order to give you this four wands, which is like a home. Because you feel like home to this person. Four wands represent commitment, marriage, love. Um, but with the hangman, see the four wands, it's like they know they need to make some sort of sacrifice, which would be making a decision between you and that third party. Some of y'all may be ready to move. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. And it may be in a different state or a different country. Four of Pentacles is clarified by the judgment card. Yeah, they feel like you judge them for destroying this relationship. Um, they really do want your forgiveness. They know that they fucked up. Tell me about the Emperor. Why is the Emperor here? Emperor is clarified by the Six of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, y'all may decide to move on from them and um, move towards someone new. But I also feel like with this Emperor to the Six of Swords, it's like, once again, like how the Oracle said, like, you need to open your heart up because you may start re try to resist this new love that's coming in. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Three of Wands is clarified by the Four of Swords. Okay, so y'all gonna get to the point where you're gonna heal your heart. You're gonna take some time to yourself. Some of y'all can even benefit like from going on a vacation to clear your head. But it, you're ready to recover from this. You're not gonna stay down for long. That's why that sun card is here. Cause you know, after every storm, that fucking sun shines again. The rainbows comes out. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? Six of Wands, yes, victory and success. This person actually really wants it all with you. They want to be successful in this relationship with you. But many of you already start getting a lot of recognition, especially if you are somebody that posts a lot online. You're ready to start getting recognition. So I'm telling you, I feel like y'all have options coming in. You just got to open your heart up. And if you were trying to like become viral or go viral or something like that, or whatever you do for your career, I feel like you're ready to get a lot of recognition for it. So tell me about the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Six of Swords is terrified by the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like y'all gonna walk away from this past person unless they're walking. Let me see. I gotta see if they're gonna walk away from the third party or you're gonna walk away. Sorry, it's getting louder and louder. Spirit, will my subscribers walk away from their person? Eight of Swords, you're confused, you're in your head, you don't know. Part of you love them so much and you feel kind of trapped into this relationship. Like, should I walk away? If I walk away, will we ever be back together? If I walk away, is that making the right decision? Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you feel like if you walk away, um, maybe it has something to do with money for some of you. Like, I don't know if this person uh, supports you financially, but it's like you feel like if you walk away from them, um, I don't know, maybe you can't make it without them financially. Or for others of you, it's just like, you feel like, damn, I failed, an like another failed relationship if you fully let this go. Now, let's see, Spirit, will Gemini's person walk away from the third party? Queen of Swords, I believe they will, because Queen of Swords is cutting out what no longer serves you. Queen of Swords can also represent divorce. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Spirit, tell me about the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Yeah, they're ready to 
to make some sort of positive change in their life. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Swords. Contracts. Um, I feel like you're ready to find out something. Tell me about this Page of Swords. Page of Swords is clarified by the Page of Cups, the Chariot, and the Strength card. Yeah, I feel like they're going to find the strength to walk away from this person. So what is the final likely outcome for Gemini's? What's the final likely? Fool card, new beginnings. Tell me about the Fool card, Spirit. King of Swords. So you got the Queen and the King of Swords. Um, You're going to start matching that person's energy. Some of you are really going to start thinking with your head and not your heart because you're tired of being fucked over. Tell me about the King of Swords. What? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this person going to come back and tell you they want to rebuild with you. But be careful because sometimes the Three of Pentacles could be somebody that's just looking for friends with benefits and not a commitment. Let's see. Spirit, will Gemini be in a committed relationship? Yes or no? Will Gemini be in a committed relationship? King of Cups, yes. And it's going to be with someone that loves you unconditionally. Tell me about the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups? Five of Wands and Ten of Wands. You're going to have a lot of options coming in. But with the Ten of Wands, it means like you need to release this baggage, which I feel like is that person. Unless that's who you really want to be in a commitment with. But with this Five of Wands, you have a lot of options coming in. Tell me about this Five of Wands and this Ten of Wands. Knight of Wands, somebody is rushing in. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Eight of Wands, yeah, this is all fast movement. Somebody is rushing in. Y'all already hear from somebody. Some of y'all may be ready to travel or y'all gonna be dealing with somebody that lives at a distance from y'all. But it's like your manifestations are coming in. Um... And don't make any impulsive decisions, like if you have to decide between two people. Um, but I feel like y'all really got a lot of good things coming. And look, at the bottom of the deck, you have date night. I feel like somebody going to ask y'all on a date soon. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's from the person on their mind? What messages do you have for Gemini's from the person on their mind? Oops, too many cards. Spirit, what messages do you have? Your energy is intoxicating and it's pulling me in. What messages do you have for Gemini's from the person on their mind? I'm in love with you. Any more messages? Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to let them pass. I'm sorry I hurt you. I didn't... Hold on, y'all. I'm so sorry about this. I'm sorry I hurt you. I didn't realize what I had until it's gone. Yeah, I feel like some of y'all gonna walk away from them. And it could just be temporary. I'm afraid of commitment. I don't want to be toxic anymore. I regret what I did to you. I told you they felt regretful. So give me three more messages for Gemini from the person on their mind. Give me two more. Give me two more, spirit. You tame my demons. Every time my phone rings, I hope it's you. I have been working on myself. I've been working on myself and I'm not the same as I was before. Bottom of the deck, I can't go another day without you. And I told you somebody was rushing in really, really fast. Um, so that's what I have for you, Gemini's. I hope that this helps and I'll talk to you soon.